when we were schooling back that time, how does the morning class start? How does the teacher start the class? Lamai, Subudasanak, Adadavasa Kavad. So, usually we write the date on the board. Uh, December, Dahanameya, December, Tedas, Visitu. So, I have that exact feeling in a classroom because it looks the same, all the front rows are <laughs> vacant. <laughs> and many are late to the class. And then I have a board. The only thing is the students are a little bit old and the teacher is a little bit younger than usual. <laughs> so, when it comes to mindfulness, right, uh, usual people think that it's, a, it's, it's going to be a very boring stuff, you know, closing eyes, your arms and legs stretch, you know, thinking or mm, oh, more, more something like that, you know. Being Sri Lankans, we are very unfortunate to have these four concepts in everything uh, which is being utilized by the world. We sometimes, they have, you know, taken from our culture, they are utilizing it, and, but still we look from a very narrow point of view and we are not utilizing them like they do and they are getting successful and we are still here talking about debts and politics and everything. You know, everybody are very concentrated on the country's economy right now. But nobody is concentrating about the health of the country right now both the physical and the mental part. Nobody is concentrating on the decline of the Sri Lankan population, you know. There is a very rapid decline. Nobody is thinking about our socio-cultural decline in the country. How much people are stressed, the social values, how we appreciate ourselves, the value of our own lives. There are many other aspects in a society, in a country, rather than economy that we have to focus into. Yeah, it's 19th of December, 2023. Year is coming to an end, leaving a lot of stories, a lot of lessons to us to learn behind. But yet, today I will promise you, this won't be an ordinary workshop or an ordinary lecture. This will be once in a lifetime you know, workshop that you will attend where I will be talking using three factors, knowledge basics, to you to understand and you to rethink about nothing else, just about your lives, you yourselves. Knowledge in biology, philosophy, and obviously psychology. Right. Since I have uh, a very little bit of time to work with you, we have to stop this around 12. So, I will be little rushing the schedule, skipping, you know, some other distracting points. I will be very clear in the topic, helping you to get the maximum out of the few hours that are left with us to work together. Right. Uh, I hope you have a small paper and a pen with you right now. I want them you to take them. And this will be something interesting. So, if you can kindly take a piece of paper and a pen, I want you to write two things down. If you don't have a pen and paper, you can just take your phone. And if you have a notepad or a you know, text, you can open a text, new text. Ah, yes, they will be providing to you. I want you to write down two expectations in your life that you are having right now, right? Today is 19th, like the teacher, Lamai Liyaganda, right? First exercise, I want you to write down two expectations in your life right now you are having about your future, two expectations, your personal, it may be professional, no problem. Two expectations I want you to write down. Two expectations in your life. It's personal, don't look at the other person. Maybe you may, your expectation is your next supervisor to be dead. It may be the expectation, so keep it personal. Keep it personal. I want you to write down two expectations in your life that you want, that you are having currently today, at this moment. Two expectations. 
I wish I had another job. I wish I could marry her. I wish a child. Something I wish. A promotion. To my salary to be increased. An additional income. Will the government import vehicles next? A new vehicle? I need this political regime to be changed. I know that won't be there. We can't change any political regimes in Sri Lanka. We are being consciously and unconsciously driven. Right, okay, two expectations, short and sweet. Right. The next task, if you are a father, a parent, or an elder brother, if you ask the same question from your sibling, from your child, what will be their answer? Same, if you, are a, if you don't have children, if you are an elder brother, if you ask your younger brother or the younger sister, what are your expectations next year? Two, what will be the answers? Just two, just guess and write that. Someone you know at least, if you don't have a, you know, a brother or a sister or a child, someone you know, what will be another person? The person who you know, what will be that? It's a fair one. Two expectations. Two expectations of your loved one or a known one. Loved one, maybe a child, a sibling, <coughs> or someone a loved one. Right, okay. Now just... Look at these writings that you wrote just now. Just look what is common in these both expectations. What you see common? What is common? What all these expectations will lead to? What they lead to? So, even the other person that you know, and you yourself, we have expectations, and what do we expect at the end of the day? Can someone guess an answer? A change, okay. Okay, that's a very good answer. Can I, can I have, I'm not going to read it out, don't worry. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm definitely not going to read this out. <laughs> okay, if you, if, if you look at these things, no, it's, it's, it's nothing, it's, it's a common thing, I'm, I was just joking. <laughs> right, for an example, here I have a dream about a house, right? Here I have an education qualification. Just tell me, what is the end result of these expectations? What's the end result that you want to get, that you want to get? I'm hearing the answer. Yes. This, this concept of fulfillment, this concept of happiness, is what we seek in every expectation that we get in life. Just look, just look at your, the expectation that you have wrought just now. What at the end it will deliver you. Come, please, 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 no need to excuse, just come. The front rows are vacant. Just see, look at the other person's expectations that you just guessed about. Same thing, same thing. We all expect, we all expect happiness, fulfillment. When, when it comes to happiness, 
although there are two different people with two different expectations you just get your sm small child if you ask the same question from your small child but hey, what do you want what are your expectations i want a car i want a bike i want to i want a somewhere trip they will be talking they will be having various expectations all of us here see being seated we are from different places different ages different jobs but all of us in every single expectation we have in our life we are expecting all in one common in one common game it's happiness this is this is a very philosophical a very psychological concept did you know among all the researchers that we have conducted in the entire human history research on happiness is what we are still seeking the longest ever research is done by harvard the purpose of is to find the true ways of being happy so more than 294 students in harvard is been followed up more than 80 years many are dead now it's the third generation that they are collecting data learning about humans what are their expectations and how they are behaving to gain those expectation with the end result of having happiness in your life ladies and gentlemen shall we little you know define this word what you mean by happy at the end tell me what are the ways that you can get be happy tell me what are the ways any guess we can talk right how can you be happy tell me any ways that you can enjoy, enjoy. good shall we again write down if you guess i will I, i i will help you to find the answers what will make you happy in life number one money definitely money baby money what is just write down three reasons for me three things that will make you have a, a beautiful wife oh my god i want a wife on the current run obviously money house a luxury house just imagine i'm i'm a genie from the lamp asking you three wishes what will be your three wishes good exactly exactly agree okay please write down please because we are a small analysis of of our life a personal analysis which we have never done before we even don't know why are we living this life we wake up in the morning ah it's a tuesday ah there is a work so you are coming to work when this ends you go back to your workplaces after that you back to your home you eat we have a same routine in our lives ap yo he jeevite just go spending the life until something happens we have laid our own expectations our own barriers our own requirements right at the end of the month there are a few obligations there are things to be pay off and there are things to you know do it's just living up your hey jeevate namal we are living the life so just i want you to think about what will make you happy think about money have you heard of elon musk or bill gates the richest people in the world and this was a question that i i have been asking for past decades if you are the richest person in the world which you are not definitely will you go to work if you are the richest person you have billions of dollars not in a sri lanka bank account otherwise you won't be rich will you go to work you may be having a <laughs> he's a rich person that's why he's talking like that <laughs> so if an average man will say the answer is no but but 
these guys who are making millions per month, they still go to work. They still work. They still do their job. So tell me whether do you have a limit to be rich? Tell me. Do you have a limit? There was a very nice video in the Facebook I saw. A person is walking on the road and looking at a person who is riding a bike, a push bike. You have seen that video, right? The person who is riding a push bike is looking at a person who is on a motorbike. The person who is on a motorbike is looking at a person who is riding a car. The person is on the car looking at the person who is riding an SUV. Have you thought about this? What do you define by being rich? You know, the philosophical definition of being rich is not your bank balance. It's something different. This Harvard has given us few conclusions about what makes people happy at the end of their lives. We will come to that at the end of the lecture. Just imagine money. will not make you happy. Instead, it will rob your happiness. Just imagine, just imagine. More than 60% of Sri Lankan money earning population is paying debts, directly or indirectly. Personal, we all are paying other debts, debts of others, but personal debts we are paying. We have something directly, on. it could be a leasing, it could be a mortgage, it could be anything. We are paying. We are paying. At the end of the day, if you have ever calculated how many pennies, how many rupees are left for your own personal expenditure, if you can calculate at least, you will see that you are not earning for yourself. You have earned nothing for you at the end of the day. There is another very, very beautiful saying that, uh, that was also circulating in the social media that you are working, right, more than two thirds of your lives to just live a couple of years in peace. You are spending majority, more than 75% of your lifetime to spend a few years in peace. But by then, your health will not allow it to you. You will never get peace. So, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to money, you have to rethink. You have to rethink whether really money brings you happiness. What else? Talk about a house. One of my friends, Right, who works as a software engineer from Dubai, recently invited me, few, not recently, a few years back, invited me. He had uh, invested, he had built a, uh, uh, what we call a smart home in Sri Lanka, closer to Thalavatu Goda. There was a very big party, he invited us. So one part of the you know, party was to introduce his house, how the smart home functions. So it was a very super luxury house, you know, around, you know, 10, 11 crores he had spent on that. It was great. It was he and his wife and his child. So I, I asked the question, my uncle, are you coming to Sri Lanka? I said, tell me now, I'm going to go to Sri Lanka. I'm going to go to Sri Lanka. They came, they again, they tried to settle in Sri Lanka. And after one year, I, I see the post back in Dubai. I don't I just, Mogadoni, but why are you not killing you? Never bear, never me or me intent to be suitable, me, but you can put a matter me. Servant, I built it, I gave a liver at the bank, and it's only. There was a doctor, usually, uh, our doctor's room where we talk a little bit about personal lives, there are things that we share with each other. 
it was a very uh, about two years back the temperature was very high very unbearable right they were talking about we were talking about you know putting on acs to houses which is the best provider best services and after that this man this my colleague he told me adobe ba mark ac ekak da ganna he installed few acs in, in his house and it was given to you know credit card installments you know doctors or the you know everything is on credit in doctors everything is on credit they are the you know very pity on the pathetic pathetic profession <laughs> other world is thinking oh what a seri dostara the only difference is we don't have a you know something in our hand to be asking only thing is we are having something around in our neck that's the only difference both are the same so he he got on credit and after that what happened was now the at the end of the month the electricity bill came yeah i saw him sitting uh, and like he said thing yeah okada vela thi he was thinking like this so adu what happened මේ බලන්න ඔබ ලයිට් බිල ඇවිල්ලා සෝ අද මම මේ gedara sola කරන ඔබ sola කරගත්තේ නැද්ද නෑ නේ බං සල්ලි නෑ බං කතා කරපු අර that time they were giving the bank loan now they are not providing they were giving the bank loan and after that ah that's a good idea about 6 kilowatt 8 kilowatt system he laid then right now the light bill is okay but what was added to his credit account now he has to pay additional to his solar installed and now the innocent doctor after the 12 hours work shift now he is working additionally at night in a hospital the ac is kept switched off there is no doctor in the ac at night just think about your life just just think api jeevithaye dewal hoya ganna hamba ganna wa at last those things how we turn around and fire us back the first permit i got as a doctor i wanted to buy the highest value vehicle that i a doctor can afford i bought it but i bought it the day i bought it i started facing severe difficulties i started parking the vehicle safely i had a problem it came the service when i went to the first service i was like hari <laughs> i was like then when i went to the vehicle for the insurance a uh, doctor me kan for the insurance ek da ganna one doctor deka hamara kata hitara man account okoma adu karala full discount dala denna doctor kiya deka hamara i was paying 60000 per year for the previous vehicle right now when i bringing the vehicle at home i had to move the kids out pute i mean i mean i mean o kala ne pa i mean i mean they were looking like me like this da mokanda the me for them it was just four vehicles and a vehicle to travel but tata here very worried just imagine me i sold the vehicle after 3 months apara dawti aparak kela vikkana i could earn double but still i sold the vehicle because happiness really where it lies tell me where the true happiness lies talk about the wife who wrote wife just imagine you got the perfect dream girl in your life you just think you know the current ashara rai the ashara rai few years back you just think you get ashara rai oh let's imagine you get uh, somebody else a celebrity or porn star instead like you know mia khalifa as your wife <laughs> just imagine amma sri dr marune you will say it the first night only and when mia khalifa comes the second day night and the third day hey man you know ko it is signal is not a bad you can't get it on either just imagine the perfect wife the most sexually active wife you will get what difficulties you will have you will have difficulties in your sleep definitely 
she will be so sexually active, you will be happy the first night that you sleep with her. Yes, okay, good. It, when it comes to the second, the third, the fourth, the everything, and you after job, after work, may, are you free? Can you come for lunch at home? Ammo, what are there? And what difficulties you will face to protect her? Just imagine you will have to some, allocate someone else, you will have to separate time to know where she is going to protect her. Everything what is based on your senses, we call this sensual happiness. At the end of the day, the happiness decays, it decays. For an example, imagine the best meal that you ever had will be giving today for lunch. The best thing, you know, chicken biryani, lamb rice, anything, the best thing, the best meal you have ever tasted will be given for lunch today. You will be very happy. Wow, lecture ka nang mona unabang, kami ka maru eh. Ati anta kami ka kari dun naru gara lecture yahan ata wada. Lecture, lecture, me kibar eh neti lecture. You will be very happy. The same meal, the exact portion will be for dinner. Wow, this is my day to day. You will be enjoying in the dinner. The exact portion will be given in the breakfast also. What's wrong with you guys? The same thing will be given for the next day lunch also. You will be a little aggressive. The same aspect, the same meal that gave you happiness, will finally you will be having nausea when seeing buryani the next time. Just imagine all the happiness are delivered through sensors. All the happiness that are delivered through sensors, we have five sensors, right? Will decay. Instead, they will revert. They will revert. And instead of giving happiness, they will take the happiness away. Talk about health. In medicine, we doctors, we have a say. There are no healthy people in this community. There are people that have not been tested properly. <laughs> you guys, you just, just, if you haven't done in the past six months, just because I, I know the statistics in Sri Lanka, right? You just do, we have a liver enzyme called ALT. It's called also SGPT. Yanagama, you just give the blood and go. Definitely it's high. Yeah. We talk about health. Just imagine, compare our health system a couple of decades before, we didn't have doctors like this. Right? I can imagine when we were small, our parents give this kasaya and there was a tonic. And the village had one single doctor which give the same pill for any disease you go and see. But still we get cured. If you can remember your small ages, these small cuts and you know scratches, you never it's gone. That's the only medicine that you knew. And it worked. Then what will happen? The next day you will be the leg should be amputated. The next day there will be CV extensive cellulitis. You should get admitted. We have our health system is expanding all the world. The blood sugar control, we have the finest drugs. We talk about blood pressure, we have the finest drugs. But still remember, our health is declining. Our lifespan is reducing day by day. Recently, the health minister declared that the Sri Lankan population, the life expectancy has gone high. After five years, you will see it will rapidly decline. It's because our Archie and CIAs are being blackguarded by doctors and still taking the pills. Pana by a minister bed bone up a clinic. GV Tabera and Benung Hanabi went them. We are Chilla Siela Parampara when they end their lives 
our life expectancy will decline. I am entering the age of 39 in 2024. I am entering my middle age. You know, when it comes to men, it's around 68, your life expectancy. <gasps> yes, females a little bit higher. Your health is declined. You never know how many cancer cells are daily being produced in your body. All of us are having cancer cells. Even right now we are talking, there could be a cancer in my body. The only thing is, we call it a cancer when it's been exposed to outside. Then we told, oh, my cancer is No, cancer cells are hematatparema being created. But it's been controlled and destroyed by our immune system. We talk about our immune system when we get a influenza, corona, then we are very worried about our immune system. But the challenge in today's health sector for us is this factor called stress. Stress is the main killer of your immune system. It's the biggest challenge to your immune system and whole your organism. Everything. Just imagine, do you have a time to sleep? exact time that you go to bed? I am not asking the, the other way around because you will be waking up because you, you have to go to job but you never have a fixed time to bed. Do you ever heard about the thing called circadian rhythm? Or that every one of us, each one of us is having a biological clock that is ticking, tick, tick, tick all the time, balancing all the systems, all the functions in our body if there is an imbalance your life is on a threat. All this cholesterol, blood sugar, blood pressure, everything, joint pains, everything, frequent you know, respiratory infections, viruses, this everything is, is due to our immunity, this imbalance of this rhythm. So, we, using our senses, I'm sorry, there is no happiness. Instead, there is suffering, there is regret through the sense. The other way of being happy. Tell me one thing today, again your papers please ladies and gentlemen. I want you to write down one thing that you can be happy today of what you have done so far. That you can be happy about you, that you can be proud of you. I don't, well, I don't have such thing. Right? One thing that you can be happy. One thing. Then you can be proud of yourself, then be happy. One thing. Write down, please. Don't look at me like this. <laughs> I don't have any. One thing that you can be happy. I came to work in this company. I got married to her, or to him. One thing that you can be happy of in your life. Cover the Haritamanta Jeevite. One thing. I'll be coming and looking at your answers. Just simple, simple. Any, 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 any language, any medium, anything. And then go to Anything, something. And then one thing that you can be happy. One thing. This thing that you just wrote, ladies and gentlemen, it's not dependent on this. It's dependent on this. You have written a psychological cause of happiness. In other words, it's a mental cause. It could be a sacrifice. It could be a sacrifice. It could be your achievement. Achievement. It could be a dedication. Anything. But 
one thing in common. What you have written, you are able to be happy today, even tomorrow, even at the last moment in your life. That, that fact is a psychological thing. Happiness has two components. One component is a sensual component. We gain happiness to senses, but the only thing is, it's very temporary. It's very temporary. That happiness does not last long. For an example, for an, this year end, you will be getting, you know, uh, uh, some kind of, a, you know, sum of money. Just think, you will get. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm scared to spell it out, right? <laughs> think you will get a sum of money at the end, end of the year. How you are going to spend it? You are going to have a party. Okay, good. Friends will be coming. They will be enjoying. You will be a night, you will be singing, dancing. It will be a night full of joys. But starting from the following day morning, what will happen to that happiness? We will try the other way around. So you got a sum of money. I'm just giving an example, a small example. Get some money. You will give a small donation. A donation, a small, small donation. Still, you will be having that party, right? You get a small donation. I'm sorry. Small donation. To a, let's say to a children's home. At the end of the party, on the Christmas day, you're going to buy some, you know, some gifts for them. And they will, you will be given, giving them. They will, what they will say? Nande mame. Apita villa me tag di pogulanta bo my tuti. You will be having that image, we call it the mental image, in your mind. It does not decay. Even the next year, Machan, Aurudhyanti will be karani. You will be still being happy of what you have done in the past. So true happiness lies where? Is it lying in your senses? Or is it lying in your mind? Is it physical or psychological? Tell me. Psychological. You have dedicated your life for your child. That's psychological. So ladies and gentlemen, remember in your life, if you really value your life, if you are investing time, if time is an investment, if you are seeking happiness in your life, then always concentrate on psychological means of being happy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the first lesson that I wanted you to keep. Happiness lies in your thoughts, in your mind. It's a choice that you make in your life. It's a choice that you always make. Even, even physical senses, if your mind is not ready to perceive that happiness, you can't become happy. For an example, you go to a wedding party with a worried mind, you cannot enjoy the food. We say, Kaya ma chang hita pirune na hana upset. You see the best party or you know, the best evening that you are going to have with a disturbed mind. So the brain is the organ that is defining what will make you happy and how you should be happy. When we are talking about health, unfortunately, Sri Lankan population is having a very, very little knowledge about our health. That's the biggest challenge that we have. Dr. Kinek Bhet Petta Deepama, we go and look if you are very interested in medications, but you look first. But you look first. You look at the side effects. So when we write a prescription, recently, right, uh, a severe alcoholic, right, drinking for more than 10 years, having withdrawal symptoms, he can't sleep at night. When I'm writing a prescription, doctor, make side effects one or other. I felt like kicking off the bloody man. We look at the side effects first. So we not having a single idea about our human 
body its functions because it happens in our school. Wedi puram apni cut karani mona period dekha jaye. Sauk sauk ke period dekha. Wedi puram school wedi wedi karani mona period dekha. Sauk ke period dekha. Ar foul sauk ke paada ma. The teacher says always gather ke hila kiya vagar na. He says the same thing. Even now they are doing the same thing. Nothing has changed. So always remember, right? Our literacy about human the body, our health is minimum. It's below zero. So that's why we are facing so many problems in our lives. That's why we are facing so many problems, right? The first problem that we have, we don't know what makes us live. Can you name two main categories of your nervous system and its main function? Snayu padhati pradhana kriya kari che gana mata ka uruhari kiya anda pula anda. Shall I bet? We don't know. If I ask you, uh, what's the mean blood sugar concentration that you have to maintain for your last past three months? If I ask the question, forget about the nervous system. Can you ask? If I ask, what should be your optimum blood pressure, even you are high pressure, patient with blood, high blood pressure, you will never say the answer correctly. What is the optimum blood pressure? If I ask, you may be a diabetic, there may be diabetics here. If I ask you, Paya kiyak nirahara vindo na da leka denna. Sorry? Blood pressure level? Who is having hypertension? This is just among us. Okay, it's a personal thing. Okay, no one. <laughs> Tell me the optimum blood pressure level we have to maintain. No. Wrong again. See, so I will educate you a little bit on that also. Please forget mindfulness. Before, before practicing mindfulness, we have to live first. <laughs> we have to breathe first before concentrating on the breath. So I will help you to breathe well. Number one, few facts, right? On blood sugar, blood pressure level, it's 120, 70. That's the optimum that you should maintain. You have to eat maximum nine hours only. Eight to nine. If you see a blood blood sugar report, there is a range calculated there. Eka balla tamai, we calculate normal. That range is prepared for eight hours fasting. It's been statistically taken, that range. It's for eight hours. Okay. The mean blood sugar concentration, you should maintain less than 5.9%. One third of Sri Lankans are getting to be diabetics very soon. So, these are few fundamental facts. I will, we will talk a little bit later in detail. Coming back to the point, the nervous system. The main function of the nervous system is, what is, what is the main function? The main function is to keep you alive. Keep your souls alive. Keep you lucky, all the souls alive. It's the main function of your nervous system. Right? If I shortly say about the nervous system, it has two components. One is the central component. Then these are, you know, these are not facts that doctors should know. These are, every lay person should know about this. And your peripheral nervous system, right? So your central is your brain. Have you seen this, you know? And your spinal cord. This is the central part. The peripheral part is, if you get the spinal cord, you have seen the pictures, like an antenna. This is your peripheral nervous system. You know, when we consider a child to be, you know, conceive this, after three months, the first neuronal activity in a fetus is the beat of the heart. 
up to 3 months we, we talk, if they cannot sustain, we say it is a miscarriage. Miscarriage means normal, no life. The first signs of life in a fetus is the beat of the heart. It is a neuronal activity, the first neuronal activity starts here. Since then we, we talk it, then we talk if they cannot sustain we call abortion. Abortion is the expulsion of a live fetus, abortion. So you truly start your life inside your mother's womb. So everything goes inside her, affects you. It could be physical, it could be psychological. The percentage of children with attention problems, the percentage of children with behavioral problems, the percentage of children with autistic features are day by day globally in a rise. What do you think? What's the reason? What is the reason? Why are we getting sick children born day by day? It's the maternal stress. Maternal stress. There was a research they had been taken diabetic patients with uncontrolled blood sugar levels. What was the true cause? It was we call it diabetic distress. This truly the stress they were having in their lives were increasing their blood sugar levels. There was another research they were talking about high blood pressure levels uncontrollable or poorly controllable, what was the reason? It was a light stress that they were facing at the given moment. That's why in other hospitals in the world, they have these mindfulness clinics. Most of the time, the doctors, they prescribe mindfulness practice, not a drug they prescribe. They don't increase the medication level. They don't increase your dose. They prescribe you. There's a, there are mindfulness clinics. Just in the adjacent, adjacent room, adjacent consultation room, there is a mindfulness practitioner. You will be having mindfulness sessions. When talking about mental illnesses, if you are aware that you know, around 20% of the Sri Lankan population is mentally not sound, 20% ladies and gentlemen. How many are in this room right now? One fifth of us need to be treated. One fifth of us need to be treated. So what is the main cause? By 2020, now we all are already in 2024 now. The main cause of morbidity, the main cause of not coming to work is not cough and fever. The main cause in the world of poor attendance is psychological problems including depression. It is not cough and fever. So, when coming to psychological problems, mindfulness is the best remedy the world has found so far. Except for severe psychosis, all other psychological problems are very successfully being treated through mindfulness. Starting from the British Parliament, in the British educational system, in the American education system, they are incorporating this as a subject, as a daily practice. Did you know, did, are you aware that in the British Parliament mindfulness project, it's a Sri Lankan girl? Who has designed the project? Before coming to the parliament, they practice mindfulness and come. It's not being given in the media. Our guys also practice, but not mindfulness. They practice something else and they come to the parliament. And due to the practice, sometimes they are so practicing mindfulness, they cannot attend the parliament. When there's a you know important bill comes, Ganapurni Natinisa parliament is dismissed. But the world is using. There is a project called Dot B project. In Great Britain, stop and breathe. Dot B, they call it dot B. Stop and breathe. It has shown that it, in, it increases the 
attendance. It has increased the efficiency in companies. The profit has been increased. So mindfulness is for you and for me. This central nervous system defines everything in your life. Each and everything. This central nervous system, even right, your digesting system, your reproductive system even, is dependent on the central part. It's under our volunteer control. We can control. Now I am speaking, you are listening due to the central nervous system. This is our peripheral nervous system. It's not under our volunteer control. For an example, the rate that your heart is being beaten right now. It's been regulated automatically. Movements of your body. If I will slip right now, I will put my hand to escape you know, hitting my head on the floor. It's involuntary. This peripheral nervous system is engaging in so many unconscious neurological processes even right now in your body. Mindfulness will increase the effectiveness of your central nervous system and will, it will help, it will bridge the central and the peripheral nervous system. I will show you how. We will do a small activity right now, then I will show you. Right. You can keep your books away. Keep your books away. Sit, relax. Nadi Balanda Kila I am going to teach you how to read your pulse. Ada Gila Nadi Balandon, yeah? First yours, then your loved ones, and your mates. Ko Balan Nadi Balanda Deepa. Right. Take two fingers of your right hand, if, if this is your dominant hand, Huruata Dakuna Angli de Kagana, Wangata Gana. Me Mahapanangili me Mirakanin, mentally. Metaning Angilak Palhang, me Metan Iring, Angilak Palhang, keep your two fingers right. Can you feel it? Godak Tadakarane, politely. Yeah, can you see my hand? You must be feeling. You must be feeling, right? If you have a watch, right? Start counting. I will count for 30 seconds. You have to start counting and calculate your heartbeat. That's my clock. No, I will, I will start the countdown. My stopwatch, okay? Start counting right now. Okay, stop. Now, I want it to multiply by 2. Keep the food, keep the food. Multiply by 2. I need some random samples. Yours, sir? What was your count? You, yes. Yes. 60. Are you taking any antihypertensives? Ah, that's right. You're a sportsman, something else. That's an exception. Any, any count here, sir? 70. Okay, good. Who had the count above, above 80? Who had above 80? It's random. That's not a problem. Don't worry. Yeah, above 80. How much? Asu? 100. Good. Yep. Okay. Any, any, any other numbers? 84, 92, 92, okay. <laughs> okay, remember, I, I need to compare. Any, any other numbers? Above 70, counts about, above 70? 78, that's a good number. Right, we have three readings, right. Do you know that? The amount of your beats in your life is pre-programmed. You can make heart take a beat in a pramani. Genetically, it has been determined. So, people in the we have a lifespan. For an example, just think we have 72 beats per minute. This is the gold standard. We have 72 beats per minute, right? We have now, 60 minutes, 
sorry, this is per minute, sorry. Seventy two, we have sixty per hour, we have twenty four hours, days. We have three sixty five, three sixty five, just imagine we have sixty years to live. At birth, this is the amount of beat, it is fixed. During your lifespan, you will be having other problems. You will have mental stresses, you will have diabetes, you will have pressure problems, you will have other problems, other physical illnesses. So, these all the factors will reduce your lifespan. Just imagine, you have a very limited amount of beats left in your life to be beat. Your heart will be working for a very restricted period in your life. It defines whether you are alive or not. Cessation of the heart functions is the death. So, just imagine if your heartbeat is so fast, what will happen to the time that you are going to live? What will happen? Your heart is beating so quickly, what will happen to the time that you are going to live? No, do not worry, I am going to reduce it. <laughs> I am going to reduce it, I am going to reduce it. <laughs> I do not want you to quit the session. <laughs> Your lifespan will be getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Just imagine, if we can prolong your lifespan, what we should do? From one aspect, we should try to make our heart beat less. I will teach you the way. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to be relaxed. Keep everything in your pockets out your hands off and I, I need a little bit more space between the chairs also. If you can please uh, sit freely. I want you to remember the amount of beats you had, right? Amount of beats you had before the session, right? Keep it in your memory. Sit very comfortably. Again, you should not, uh, the, you know, may recline to the other person, Gavin Nebehe, untouched, Putupodda Kihata Miharakaran, sit. The chair is also very comfortable, sit. We call this a sacral area. This is the correct healthy seating position. It should be reclined to the chair. And at least you should have an angle of you know 90 to 100 angle here. Right? Keep your hands comfortably anywhere you like. Your back should be straight. It is ok, there is a small angle here, recline it properly. Your shoulders should be relaxed and you should be looking forward. Just want to adjust your posture. The posture is very important in practicing this. You should be, simply speaking, you should be very relaxed. Should be very relaxed. Good, good, good. good. You should be very relaxed. Right. You should be looking forward. Your chin a little bit. Lean forward, put that nigga to this side again. Right, okay. close your eyes. Close your eyes. I want you to concentrate on your body posture. But the tamangi shariri again balana me. Concentrate on that. How you are being positioned on the chair? How you are being seated? If you have any, you know, discomfort, you can correct your posture right now and after that you cannot correct until I say. Manohari prasnaya kira vimak tada vimak tiyena manang correct it. Pada hadaga. You can keep your legs a little bit crossed if you like. Kakulde ka poddak mahima cross karagatta hama lesi sama. Balana, if you close, in your eyes close, check whether your back and your neck is straight, it is ok, you can be reclined, it is ok. You should be looking forward, your eyes closed. When your eyes are closed, it is like a slight reddish color, you can see. Ok, okay everything perfect, good. 
แล้วไอ้โมนิทูเทคดีบรีดแอนิเฮลฟอลโลดไปเอ็กซ์เฮลแอนิเฮลแอนิเอ็กซ์เฮล You should take it consciously. Hita mata husma ganna podda. Tika gyamburi papu pirenna. Let your chest fill with air. In your inhale and in your exhale, you have to exhale it all out. Pulu antara husma pita karan. Pulu antara papu his karan. Again, Papu Pirin Nama Husma Ganna, which should be filled and exhale all it out. Hitamata Ganoni, consciously you have to breathe. It is like Api Hitamata Gatyanata Husman Atharavenda Pula, you should have that sensation. So, consciously you should breathe. Consciously breathe. Mere Netang, eh? Okay. Few more times. Right. Now, I want you to have a small pause between your inhale and your exhale, between your exhale and your inhale. Husma ganne kai, helene kai, helene kai, ganne kai, yathara podi pause se kakti yaan, tatpara dekha ka wage. Ikka paattam husma pita karan yaan nepa, chuttak indala himing pita karan, baradeyak biming tiyan wage. Ikka paattam husma ganne nepa, husma helala, chuttak tatpara dekha kakti yaan nepa, husma ganne. Everybody together, good inhale, hold it, pause, exhale, slowly, 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 pause, inhale, pause, exhale, pause. Inhale, pause, exhale, pause, inhale, pause, exhale. Then Tanya Makarana do it in on.
okay, we will move into the next stage. Now, I want you to concentrate okay, no strains. Avadaniya nahayata yamukaranna. Just try to feel the inhale and your exhale through the sensation that you get through your nostrils. You see how the inhale is being felt at your nostrils and the initial part of your nose, the cool air coming in and the exhale see, feel how the warm air is gone out through your nostrils. Ashwasya vate atulate anahati. Papu Pirinahati, Vate Pita Vinahati, Avadani Yamukarani. Simply speaking, pay your total attention to this automatic breathing process. Niraya sen husmagani me kriyavaliya veta avadani yumkara. You should be getting to know about your breathing by the sensations of your body. The air that has been entered and expulsed from your nostrils, movements of your chest will help you to know that you are breathing, to get familiar with your breathing pattern. Now, you should breathe with your usual breathing rhythm. Stay relaxed, your body is still, but your mind is full awake, it is paying attention to this breathing process. You are totally aware in your breathing, you can clearly feel the inhale and the exhale. Sharire Nisol Manva Namut Manasa Vadivela. Avadaniya Husmagani me Kriyavaliya Desa Pamanai Nanda Pavatvan. But Ashwase Hundata Terenava Prashwase Hundata Terenava Sharire Sobaviko Musidu in a me Husmagani me Kriyavaliya Avadani Yumkara. Obe Manasa, me velave aramunu karani, me mohote, vartamana ye, me siduena, husmagani me kriyavalia pamanamai. You are currently concentrating only on the bodily sensations you get related to your breathing process the inhale and the exhale separately. Try to maintain the focus, be focused.
you are currently experiencing the present moment. You have left out all the thoughts in the past, you have no any thoughts related to your future. You are currently concentrating on the present moment. Then Obami Atvidinne me mohota kena sankalpe nyukta. E vartamani manasa sihiya satiya pavatyana avasthavai. Gevi gi ati te obata vedakne. No pamini anagati obata adalane. Oba me vila visidu karane kama de. Obe husma avadani nyutuva. Gyanima Pamanai. Obi Avadaniya Memote Tibi Yutte. Obi Husma Desa Pamanai. Try to stay, stay focused. Lace in air, it's difficult. Your bodily sensation related to your breathing will help you to stay focused. Nahaying then in a day, papuesh sirure chalanaya, obatobe aswase sa praswase, hodin denagani matu pakara vedi. Sabhavika Ridme Ata Ekatmika Vimin Mohota Kabhi Me Mohota Sihiya Vadagani Mo I want you to slowly, don't change your bodily posture, slowly open your eyes, slowly. I want you to, as we did demonstrated before, to read your pulse. Kali nadi balapu idhira podda kangila tiyaga. Don't change your body posture. Don't stop concentrating on breathing. Don't stop. Keep on breathing. Just try to feel your pulse. I want you to start counting now. Start. Stop. Open your eyes and relax. Multiply the count by two. Hope nobody is dead. Hope everyone is awake. Listen ladies and gentlemen, this concept. We are living through time. We have the past, we have the future and we have the present moment. In our routine day to day life, this perception of time is mixed together. For an example, if you are thinking 
how you came today morning to this place, you are bringing your past into your present moment. The past and the present is mixed. When you are thinking what you are going to do tonight, the future, you drag your consciousness, you drag the future into your present moment and it's been mixed. Do you know, by this practice, when you start to feel, to experience the present moment, you will be very clearly lineating, dividing your past and your future. Most of the problems that we are having are the regrets of the past and the anxieties in the future. When we drag our past or our future to the present moment, what will happen ultimately is we are spoiling the task that is in our hand. That's how practice of mindfulness throughout the companies in the world, that's the secret that they are incorporating, they are practicing this in their daily routines because employees have raised their effectiveness by concentrating the task on their hand, by concentrating the present moment, by practicing this present moment. In our day-to-day -day routine life, we don't have a present, we don't have a past, we don't have a future. We are just ruminating continuously the thoughts that are being projected into our consciousness. I will be teaching you after the break. So now I want you to practice the present moment. I want the food to be delivered, our refreshments to be delivered. I will help you to learn how to practice the present moment. This focusing ability is essential in your memory, in your memory. It is essential to increase your efficiency in the task that you are doing and also it's very essential to increase your productivity and to bring happiness into your life. So don't start eating, it's, it will be very difficult, right? We will try our best, right? When you receive the food, the, the refreshments, keep it, hold it in your hand until everyone finishes receiving their Portion, okay. <laughs> Don't start eating. Even it's very difficult. Pansale Danati Agan in the Tamar, it's very difficult. Achyamala won't stay. It's very difficult to practice this mindfulness eating. Did you know that we don't know to enjoy food? We never enjoy the food we take. The food is not enjoyable, like a Venamakatawak, but even even the, you know, you can learn to enjoy the food. So, mindfulness practice will help you to enjoy what you are eating. What we usually do, I recently visited uh, factory in Bangalore. Uh, Bangalore, 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 after delivering the speech for the employees, there are 4,000 plus employees. We uh, did it into four sessions, 1,000 each. Then I was in the, uh, you know, they were providing lunch to me in their dining room. So all the, you know, executives, the HR team, all are coming and very few are talking to each other. Almost everyone coming and sitting. I don't have my phone with me. They take and they scroll their phone. You know, we are, we are being isolated ourselves because of this device. We think that we are connected. When we talk, you know, now we don't go for birthday parties. Uh, we, we, we put a like and we put that, you know, emoji or something and we, we, we wish it. Now, ticket asking, Malagedanath, mini photo ekagdala, definitely they will put it very soon. Online Malagedara. Have you noticed that, you know, recently they used to keep the dead bodies in parlors, isn't it? Because there are so many social reasons. It's changing by time. So, few decades back, there were no funerals in parlors. Few decades back, you take about, you know, 
early 1990s somehow we had the funeral at least minya gamita hari arang giya they have no parlance like this now I, I, i'm working at ragam hospital so my clinic i i, I take a shortcut and there's a small village called batuwat it's a very remote village recently when i am going batuwati me aturu paraka also banner they have put me niwan sepala beva they here it's at the pala in a remote village imagine me ladies and gentlemen it's just a matter of time the bodies will be disposed very soon in the hospital itself it's just a matter of time you know we are talking about emotional intelligence now the world is talking about emotional intelligence how we are sensitive to ourselves how our lives are how we are interacting with others we are all looking at iqs but not at eqs how far we can control our emotions how far we are sensitive to the emotions of our coworker or our employee our family members day by day we have been blunted we don't have emotional interactions did you know that in communication 80% it's non verbal 80% it's non verbal that means we communicate through our emotions our facial expressions our actions that's the main way of communicating but through devices it does not facilitate that so our communication has rapidly declined we don't know ourselves recently a child a 15 year old child i think from badullo committed suicide the first date the first time she went out with her boyfriend they had sexual intercourse she was guilty and she committed suicide amme mata wata honda duwek wenna bari una what does that happen the communication prior to an engagement isn't there can you remember if you in your school times especially we are the last i think generation that were waiting in bus halls and waiting till she come a chutta balan gan dakka safai tadda katawana la chutti liyum kalla dala we are the last generation of that but we had that emotional component we may be waiting in the bus halls for hours ha ne sorry parakuna den da oh den da we were we were giving that forgiveness we were understanding emotionally we are attached but now the new generation they are not emotionally attached they just text just have that initial part of their relationship through online and they meet and they elope together so human relationships human interactions are lacking so this is a catastrophe that's why the world do you know do you know in china they have restricted They, the all the developing countries they foresee their future we the sri lankans we never forecast we never foresee when a crisis comes then we deal with the crisis when the crisis is over everything is over just imagine we are our polka to lipa then now the polka to lipa when there are no lp gas everyone had polka to lipa now we are easy the corona period we had this this planting everything even in the bathroom we had bandakka pala during the corona time but now we are there we just talk that ela volumila ahasa usata we talk about it. so we are very good in managing crisis but after that we can't foresee things but other countries the scandinavian countries they are getting out of online education everything is becoming physical now china restricted the screening time to their children below for prohibited no phones no there was a one nice video that said a kiri kiri bonda denne phone ekak bala agena amma kiri bona ka podi ekata phone ekak penna penna kiri denne there was a nice saying in the social media circulating hari ne okkom bedale warada it's so difficult ne eda <laughs> okay now this is about this is nothing else nothing else nothing new nothing nothing matad denna ithi nothing new right nothing new this is about being in the present moment so enjoying the food so it's not about me kai kot kata karana to adina me kadiha me aahare ma ganne it's not for that 
It is something simple day to day life. I just want just, just observe your food. Just observe. What do you have? We never observe the food. It will help. observe observe He has observed that. So observation of your food is very essential. Right. Right. We have a right. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Good. Observe. You, you can touch it. Right. You can touch. You can use your serviette. Right. Choose one to eat. Choose one. Just choose one. Now you are not looking anywhere. I just look at your food. Now choose one. Have your first bite, first crunch, first bite. Concentrate on your mouth, the sensation you are having inside. Chew it well. We are not chewing food enough. Chew it well. Now shallow. Now say no. What we usually do? What we usually do? I mean, gatha. De para kapo gila. Don't do that. Never hear up. It's even not good for your digestion system also. But concentrate on your jaw movements. Ride na data tere na, helve na ka tere na. Implant ka galve ida hi tere na. That's good. Concentrate on that. Hapala gilinde. Good. Go for the next bite. Just enjoy the food. Think of. Now your brain will be telling things. Right? If you are thinking about brain will be saying, Pang in your veli lava game. Cut them in cheese, kale at them, cut them, sabang kale at them. No. Concentrate. The mind will be talking. Don't concentrate on that. Concentrate on what you are feeling right now. What you are feeling right now. Concentrate on the sensation. Mm -hmm. Normal speed, the normal way you are eating, no, nothing, nothing changed, just concentrate on the view. Mm, good. I have never seen such a polite audience. I'm going to take a photograph. Make sure on the camera can set up on that. I'm not going to keep this public, don't worry. I just want to show it to yourself. On the Lamaitika camera can hit it. Good. Please, no, no. That's a this is discipline. Enjoy the food. When you are taking the food, just for the goat's sake, take the food. Camera can cut a cane again a kalpana. I will tell you the uh, medical part, medical stuff in this, the medical importance of this. Time is flying. Okay. Pay attention to your mouth, to your tongue, your sensation that you are getting. But I do happen in a pit of gure and in a there are no hiccups. What are you doing? Hey, enough, enough saliva is coming, saliva is coming. A bit of a part of what are you doing? Kill in the villa and neck with me, a hala gilino. Kita kerana tiap hari, nama yang kaki tiada kula apa, di mata baru dengan dia ni. Matro ni mana? So when you are concentrating on your food, right? It's a biological process. Digestion is a biological process, right? So your brain now recognizes, right, there is food. So it needs some time for the processes. It happens at three levels, right? Number one, at your mouth, 
you get the saliva or saliva whatever you say it's been secreted so your digestion starts at your mouth there's an enzyme called pepsin sorry there's an enzyme called pepsin so it's it works with the food and your food is very well mixed it's very well mixed so you are you are swallowing a pulp you are swallowing a pulp so it goes through your esophagus these are all are scientific ladies and gentlemen so when you are considering your brain cell uh, sends messengers to your gi tract we call it the gastrointestinal tract gi tract so it starts working meka sankochana even a patang gan so the food is very easily gone down so samaru tan tan me me tan hira wena samaru it happens because the the brain is not ready to send still the information is not sent the brain ne ka dan ne it move phone ne ka bal bal kelle ge pindura bal bal kaddi brain ne ka wen ekak sravaya karanne that what happens so you should concern when you are considering on the food this biological process activates make api peristalsis kiyala kiyanne so mea then the second level of message just goes to your gastric juice the secretions they get the hcl the acid the stomach acid now it's been secreted when you are considering on your food then you get in you get enough enzymes so the second stage of the digestion process happens kam hondata dilama no de then the third level is goes to your intestines ara bada wal tika mehema panu panu wage then they they send the message just onna badu wenawa badu wenawa yawa palle yawa palle palle hata they sends the stool down and they are preparing to receive food from your stomach it's everything is dependent on the way you concentrate on your food have you ever seen how animals are consuming food ballo puso kama kana hati samala to ge natta mirku atu ganan ganne u kama ka kana kana gama kana vela hema oni a very keen dog will be listening the round but when they are eating they they are concentrating on the food we should learn from at least from animals how to eat food me me mulu biological process ek been initiated by concentrating on your food so you won't be getting gastric problems because your peristalsis is been regulated it's been sent downwards godak kai ki downwards ni me thiyenne koheda upwards enne okko game ek ek gaga udata inne ai you are not concentrating on your food so the peristalsis the digestion happens very well you don't want to eat a lot godak kando ne wenne ne have you seen no me aranni wala hamduru they eat very little a small portion is enough for them why the food is been properly digested it's properly digested because digestion starts here kate meka patang ganne ite passe aamashe properly digest no mea properly digest e secretions me kuda when it comes to the small intestines you get this uh, pancreatic enzymes the next so set of enzymes is everything is regulated by here right we are getting this gold stone disease as a pitta shegal right more than one third of the sri lankan population is having some kind of a gastric problem it can be irritable bowel disease gas why in proper food habits you don't know how to so when you are sipping the tea also sip the tea teka harita bonna e velave karana eka gana concentrate amu teka hamu bonna eka wala we now hold in the cup concentrating on hold in the cup you look at the tea and you drink it and you the second attention should be go into your mouth and you put the tea down or anywhere you hold it and you drink it api kochchara api wathuru bonawa ge the bonawada meka tiyanna hong inna ya ringi ka dex ka you will never taste tea so always remember ladies and gentlemen this is why mindfulness is so good for you for the next time today lunch please now it's about no etokota doctor apita can't be talk while we are no you swallow the food you finish the thing then you start to talk if you want to talk with your colleague right eka hapala concentrate kala gilala 
กินแล้วเราไปเซ็กซ์ตาค่ะเลยดาวน์ยูมันวาเลยมันงอมยังเอาดันเจ้ายังขู่ขันยูนยูนยู That's that's what you should have. Yes. You can speak. You gilla, e v e r y b o d a k a r a then talk. Then again, concentrate. It's about shifting concentration. Practice it. Practice your children. Practice your employees. Up your dinner taking practice. If please, if you can practice at your home, that will be really helpful for your mental health in your family. Up i s r a me a t t e r m i s r a then. Right, a k a n a k a in a table. It was a very good place of the family discussions. Well, like, now we don't have this family discussions. Ne? We have only family conflicts. We don't have family discussions because we don't have a platform to discuss. Get there a p a u l i o k o m e k a t u n e at least not for dinner. At least a tea. If you can create a platform to everybody to sit and talk, even in other European Western countries, they have that. When they sit in their dining table, they eat and they talk. So, if, please, if you can do that, it's very better. It's very good for your children. When we go, we go for all these schools. You know, we go for international schools. We go for national schools. What is the biggest complaint the children are giving to us? Is I can't talk to my parents. I don't have. I have no one to talk to. But usually, what does father say? อายุกรันกรันเนี่ยป่ะอามาอ่าแต่งี้ก็จะมาดีไม่น่าที่นี่ we usually give our feedback without trying to understand the need of the child at least to listen to them so please from today onwards if you don't have if you have it's very good have at least 20 minutes a small time create a small time to everybody to get together and have a small family chat they are very important ชุดตับบาลานก็เกิดอะไรที่นี่หดมินิสพอได้ข่าวตากันแล้วบาลานก็ว่าจะเกิดอะไรกินละโควิดนั้นทั้งหลายเดี๋ยวว่าสื่อโซเชียลมีเดียมีเกิดอะไรนี่หดมินิสุนีดับเพื่อเกิดอะไร people are getting to know each other so always remember usually if it is permitted now usually me being a doctor we are supposed to be 24/7 on call whatever the unit I'm working in the hospital should be able to Contact me. We are paid thirty-five thousand per month for that. So we should be available. The phone should be available. But still, just try to reflect on yourself. How much your personal life and your work life are being mixed together? How much work we bring home? How much our personal time is allocated for our our professional works? Just think. Even a text message, even a phone call, we should really excuse from our family and take if it is really essential. You know, recently when I'm going late at night, you know my personal experience. Our kids used to stay awake until I come home. Usually come around 11, 30, 12. They used to sleep around 12. After that comes. Even still, when I start online. You know, consultations. I start after the physical consultations. I used to talk, and the last patient I used to come inside the home with the phone, with talking with them. We have very critical problems. I am getting the most critical problems, not simple things to be solved. Then the kids. One day, my daughter whispered to herself, "Me, I think phone ne kya me na ma? Phone ne kya ma ya na ma? She's just six. Me, phone ne kya me na ma?" Phone came, you know. I overheard that. I really understood the grievous mistake that I'm doing. So they are waiting. Me being a, yo psychology kala vatura bi la mangita ne. Psychology is passing through my digestive tract, but still, but still, I'm forgetting that the children are waiting to embrace their father. Still, sometimes it's true. It's a life. It's true. It's work. It's true. It's money. It's true. It's responsibility. But still, always remember, there's a huge responsibility inside your house also that you have to play. You have to perform. The next day, whatever the time, I stop my vehicle outside the house. I finish my discussions. I switch off the phone. Or I keep the phone silent, and I go in. They are still whatever the time. They are still waiting. 
till the dad come and they are very happy it's true iti wate inna ballo buranawa phone eke paare yane on torch eka gala balanawa mokada yako me wahane nawatta gena inne there are things like that they also happen but still i do that for the sake of my kids so always remember right being mindfulness will help you to not only understand your own emotions but also to be sensitive to other person's emotions theka thayama na ani ha kaman na walli harisiyak na right we will go to the next part <laughs> right um i was just joking right are you done we can we, you can go to the washroom we have a small 5 minutes break please 5 minutes um, we have to stop this to 12 you can have a small break 5 minutes අසු හතරයි තිබුණේ නේ පල් ස්ට්‍රේට් එක ඊට පස්සේ කිය කිය තිබ්බද බිෆෝ ඇන්ඩ් ආෆ්ටර් ඊට පස්සේ කියක් ආවා 70 72යි රයිට් බිෆෝ රයිට් බිෆෝ ද ප්‍රැක්ටිස් ද පල් ස්ට්‍රේට් වොස් 84 ඊට පස්සේ බින් රිඩියස් ටු 72 90 ගානක් තිබුණා 92 තිබුණේ නේ දැන් කියද 86 අපි තව රීඩින් එකක් ගත්තා තව 78 එකක් ගත්තා years 72 can you see the difference i'm i'm really happy with this if we could have practice more deeply it could be less this also good Did you understand what mindfulness does inside your body? It reduces your heart rate. In other words, it will let ex- extra days in your life to live. Make me say, "Lama, this exercise will give you, will prolong your healthy life, not your sick life. Your healthy life. If you are sick, I don't want to live and suffer. But mindfulness will give you healthy days to your lifespan." very important very important nothing else in the world gives this no meds no any other treatment will expand your life span this is statistically proven brain scans the no internet ke da pawam there are numerous publications numerous articles numerous researchers everything says effects of positive effects of mindfulness hamma ekakma kiyena brain eka taruna wenawa sharire taruna wenawa digestion eka honda wenawa blood pressure is been optimized blood sugar optimized cholesterol optimized mindfulness එක ගැන තරම් research කරලා නැහැ කිසිම දෙයක් ගැන it every research shows that it has good effects see you yourself see this 84 reduces to 72 this is the optimum if you can do this how many seconds we did harita baluwa minada dekakwat harita karena because you were listening to me i was commentating all the time it was not fully focused So, ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to prove that how much, what an impact that this can give into your health, right? In the last part in our discussion, I just want you to educate. I just want you to know about how our mind works. Mind, अब किन्हें हम देखें तो हम हित की है, हित तमाय योग्य है। It's not a simple thing, right? It's a very complicated. It's the most complicated. thing in the whole universe me mulu vishwema thiyena complicated ekama thamai eka but you know kochchara complicated unak utu one eka deyai is this a very simple thing the mind every mind the powers need the thing which we start started speaking in the initial part of our discussion api mulin katha karapu eka what is it to be happy you told us samen samadhanen sanasimen aatalleke paaduwe inda hamma hitakata mataka tiyaka haba ye samaya this our mind ya ge running force eka thamai happiness eka happiness is the running force is the fuel the fuel like vahaneta petrol wage hita duwanna you need happiness eka thamai when you when you have no hope when you have no happiness in your life that is the sole reason people commits suicide 
मिनिसु सीधी विनाशा गानी मत कथी आगाना द एकम हेतु है सातु टक ने सातु के लेबिने बाला पुरुत्तु टक ने मिनिसु तमंगे जीते न तिकर गानी का है दे मे बी हंड्रेड एंड वन अदर रीज़न्स बट द सोल रीज़न द मेन रीज़न इस हैप्पीनेस सो यू टू रन द लाइफ यू नीड हैप्पीनेस टू दैट आई विल टीच यू हाउ योर माइंड वर्क्स यू हैव एक्सटर्नल योर वर्ड इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन स्टिम्युलस स्टिम्युलाइ प्लूरल स्टिम्युलाइ कि न बाहर का परिसर है आप इधर लेबे ना उत्तेजना स्टिम्युलाइ सो अब फाइव सेंसर्स आर गिविंग दिस वी हैव फाइव सेंसर्स फॉर दिस योर आईज वी सी द वर्ल्ड वी हियर थिंग्स वी फील टेस्ट स्मेल एंड द टच ओनली फाइव सेंसर्स मी क्रम पाहिं वितरमाइ वी क्रिएट द वर्ल्ड so these sensors have an input on our sensory input we have sensory inputs we have sensors we are getting sensory inputs these sensory inputs are being processed me inputs of comma ma meten tenna to take space in the board these inputs so we have five inputs are being brought for process we process these we analyze these what we call in a stage call our working memory working memory kin apita ena hama information ekakma ape me working memory kiyala ana computer ekaka ara me random access memory ram eka wage we have a small part of our brain called the working memory All the information comes here, and it's been processed here. It's connected with a huge, unlimited. Still, we have not finally calculated the capacity of our brain cell. We call it the long-term memory. The long-term memory. Make a tamay apay database seka. This is our database. Everything in our life. Which we have paid attention is stored here. All our experiences, opinions, emotions, past memories, everything. I get it's in the long term memory. So whatever the information comes, it's been processed. Data is been transferred. Long term memory. Kar dhamm aay gatta aay dhamm aay gatta. It passe finally. Me thinking you know apne output theka our behavior. It could be. It could be a behavior. Just imagine. Just imagine, you are summoned by your supervisor, your immediate supervisor, or you know whoever. Kata karna me, are at endagi ande. Oh, there's a meeting. Now it's your chance to speak. Now your input. Now you know the situation. You can see the faces. Hmm, how they how they looks like this. Hmm, yeah na. You know that something is. Going to happen the threats, you know the requirement and the data, the brain, the working memory, it needs information. So what am I going to say? How am I going to present this? What are the answers that I am going to give? It's it it tries to pull out as much as information from the long term memory. Here all your skills are being utilized to perform a good output. Khonda uttarak bandhin the tamai daiyani. Ladies and gentlemen. Here, these are neurons that are interconnected. Me okuma, it's a very complicated the neuronal circuit. It's 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 been run on the electricity. We have as much as a electricity in our brain, in our nervous system that can light a 80 watt bulb bulb for three three hours. Such a big electrical capacity is inside our brain. These are neuronal connections. So. This working memory capacity of ours is very limited. Make a hurry, man. Limited. Make unlimited. This is unlimited. Ape storage is unlimited, but working memory is limited. If we if we get emotions, negative thoughts, what are unnecessary? If they are going to fill in our working memory, our performance. Will be not into the expected level. Working memory ke apeta hita kalabala inang. 
ගොඩක් දේවල් හිතේ කර කැවෙනවා නම් if we are anxious අයෝ බැනුම් අහන්න වෙයි අද නම් නානවා නෑමක් උඹ if the mind is telling this your performance will decrease and these neuronal circuits instead of going to your cognitive brain our brain has two parts one is the thinking part the cognitive part and other is the emotional part it's common to all the mammals me hanging api shirapain tai okkotom ekai api wenas wenne api thena we have a cognitive part you know we can control our emotions we can feel do the hanne kare do you get the dog just imagine the dog balla balu kuduwa thiyena oge issarahama pooja ke athath burana o yaacha ke athath burana it barks to anyone but we treat differently to the priest we treat differently and to that also we treat differently we we can sort our emotions but but when emotions are empowered when you are emotional your conscious brain connects to your emotional brain api emotional unahama weda karana ganna emotional brain ekak cognitive brain ekak shut down now that's why when you are angry you don't know the gravity of the words that you are speaking that's why when you are anxious sometimes you don't know what to tell next when you are stressed tamu sokoda weda ta wenathi boruwak wa tenne ne when you are stressed it happens when the brain sticks to the emotional part you are driven by your emotions you are driven by your emotions at least you can't get rid of that office ekey thiyena prashna gedara patthu wenna ne gedara thiyena prashna office ekey patthu wenna ne patthu wenna patthu wenna when you switch that a switch එක on කරපාම ඊට පස්සේ දුවන්නේ emotional brain එක පාරේ ඔන් කී දෙන්නේ බැනුම් අහන දුන්ට ඇහෙන්න තෙක වෙනම කතා ඒ තුන් බැනුම් අහනවා but what is happening is your stress system is being activated you are stressed why your working memory is filled with negative emotions your brain cannot work you make mistakes you make grievous mistakes sometimes samahara velata we take decisions in our lives due to emotions people who trade things they use it very easily they, they they use emotions very easily it's very very easy for an example you go to buy a phone they compare the phone with the new one your existing one with the new one they do that they play with your emotions are you so make this iphone 14 or utama pro max you get three cameras in that Fifteen ek aluk ne ka charge ke ma port ek atme na this thing you can't charge. Ek tamiya ko me kiya na katha. You feel very diminished. You feel very low. You are emotionally driven. You will buy. Mindfulness will help you. Ponda inda hang. You go home, think, look at the budget, and come back. The phone will be there tomorrow also. Your cognitive brain will start talking. Your cognitive when you are angry. you need to black out the person you need to burst off your cognitive brain yako hetat mood ekak thamai weda karanne ne poddak idahan aluth ekak ganna ka the brain will be telling you that banin ne pa e ganita eki mona karanna da weda karana eka karana weda walata your cognitive brain will be telling you gahan de pa podi ekata it's your mistake don't assault him your cognitive brain will be talking to you banin ne pa hinganata u mona karanna da hinga kanata don't blame the brain your cognitive brain will be talking b ni there are two outputs one are reactions reactions they come automatically reactions emotionally driven others are called responses mindfulness will help you to not to react but to respond to the external world not to react all the time emotionally but to respond cognitively intelligently to respond to the world it's not about neglecting good emotions even for emotion when it comes to emotions you can be very emotional with mindfulness for an example the food just you take just you took right you you enjoy the food isn't it now sabangnat you can eat like cheese isn't it you can rewire your brain 
for an example you are very unhappy with your life partner mindfulness can revive ascharara hitiyan mechara yako ithin me ekatwa thana you can revive the brain so all is remembered it's about living the present moment and understanding your emotions do you know that we are very easily emotionally driven very easily emotionally driven for an example you no know, there are some politicians or people in political parties if if you talk single thing against them they will be very easily emotionally driven ah po ubala to ochchana thamai one word it is enough you are very emotionally driven we we have been very easily manipulated you know they it whatever the output is i do not you know disagree with the output but the result conflict was very nicely emotionally driven we are psychologically slaves they are psychological masters that are controlling us consciously or unconsciously we have been we have been driven we have been controlled our election our vote is been psychologically driven who we are going to vote next psychologically driven so we very nicely planned so mindfulness will always not let you slide in that emotional ride it will not if you have the brake if you pull at least the hand brake what la inna hayya ko just stop that's why you need to practice mindfulness to you to understand your inner emotional state you will feel right now i'm angry mata de mala pan la inne that recognition that awareness of your internal emotional environment will help you to regulate just the awareness is enough taraha giya velawata taraha paane karagana to control your anger the awareness is the first step 50% of the reactions that you do in anger will stop so mindfulness helps to make free your working memory it can now me then vena deyak vecha ave i will do the best that i can that's true you have not achieved your targets it's okay i will do the best what i can it will release it will free your working memory from emotions it will not let your brain to you know click have the connection have the ties with the emotional brain it will rather than i will do my best what i can it will fix your cognitive brain and the cognitive brain and the working memory will be working together number one number two this all are scientists scientific findings right you, you can google there are in, it's in the net it will increase the connection between your long term memory and your working memory the connection honata wire ekak keep connection keep ekak ma hadala denawa so data will be coming nathi uttar enawa mokodo i wedata awe nathe eka nisa mata enna mai mama awe geyin eliyata adiya tibba adiya tiyala dekak tiyena kota thamai amma kalanta dala wetune things will be coming tam sikiwa ne oy amma merila kiyala nasa e magi amma neme sa nona ge amma wetune the brain the connections will be key wrong the nona ge amma kiya han wetuna kiya han ilagata wetichcha dana kiya han hospital ekata u danna thi hospital ekak kiya han brain will be telling the all the information will be given it will be processing you to give the right answer to give the best performance that you ever had ay yo sorry mukak de one amma hetani hetenne pa heta niwaduwa gane mindfulness a <laughs> song right so it will be enhancing and also it will be increasing the database the most problem that all we are having is we can't retrieve things in our memory storage ke neme prashna thiyena ape bahutare ge our brain is very good it's very function but we can't retrieve things mindfulness will help us to retrieve things recall things so in a nutshell in a nutshell it will increase your performance your mental performance your mental operations everything the way you work how you deal with people your performance everything the single 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 practice the single mental skill that you have to improve is called attention a sustained attention is called concentration so what we practiced few minutes before we are going to practice it again breathing is a rhythmic process it's continuous and spontaneous 
Why we use the bread? It's a single process that is happening in our brain and our autonomic nervous system. It's happening autonomically. It's automatic. It's a single process that we can feel. Apita angi sidu ina ibem sidu ina kriya kar kang valin. Apita dalina ekamade husma pamana. Our heart is beating. We can't feel. Luckily, we can't feel it. Our bowels are moving. We can we can't feel. Luckily, we can't feel it. Our urine is being you know each and every minute is being you know collected in our bladder. We can't feel. Luckily, we can't feel. Ina thahe madhisar tad ane ka kato na. Dekha kato. To na yaha thara. Luckily, we can't feel them. We can even the poo. We can feel when it is loaded only. Lord, then I cannot put their in that. Their one ang ibaray. You can't come to work there. So always remember, this is the only single process that it is happening automatically. It has all your rhythm. It has a simple rhythm, and huge neuronal processes are between this. When you breathe in, there is a part called sympathetic nervous system. It's been activated to increase your performance. When you breathe out, the parasympathetic nervous system, which will relax you, is being activated. From the first moment you have come out from your mother's womb, you start breathing until the last breath. It's happening automatically. The only thing is, we use this to improve our concentration because it's so neutral. It's very well felt. We all can feel. The only thing is the way we feel can differ. Put gal again, put gal. It can change. Some feel it here. Some feel it here. Some feel it the movements of the chest. Some feel it the movement of the abdomen. Anything. The most important thing is you. Sh anyone can feel this. It can feel this, right? I'm breathing right now, and it's neutral, and it, it has a rhythm, and it balances our nervous system, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. It's balanced. But Is it easy? Is it easy to pay focus? I will give you two minutes. Try to not to think anything else, rather than your breath, the inhale and your exhale. When you are focusing, if you can remember the first part I told you, right? Sorry. First, we actively breathe. You can write this down, please. Take your paper and pencil. You can teach your colleagues, teach your children. Teach this. The first step is. The first step is. Actively breathe. Uh, sorry. The posture. The posture. It should be relaxed. You can do practice this anywhere. Even lying down on the bed is okay. The only thing is you will feel asleep soon. I will teach you something about. I will speak a little bit about uh, mindfulness uh, sleep. You any posture no problem, but it should be relaxed. Ka gheri ukule vaadi vela inne ka relax na ukule vaadi vela. You can practice this mindfulness. Oh, oh. right, okay. <laughs> the posture if you can remember you should be looking straight your back straight your hands relaxed shoulders relaxed aye to facilitate free breathing ekai passata vela uraisa passata karagena uraisa relax karagena issara balagena nikata chuttak ussanna kiyanne etakonda me eya aweka sampunnema vivurthi wenna it's very easy to breathe and the chest chest movements are very easy to make That's why the posture is so important. So the posture, second step. Then you can say, then you do this. Go and get out there, make a tea again. Again, urgent meeting. Like, now let mom body control. Body well, of course. And you just sit and teach, and you practice, and then you will be mastering this. Then, if you don't practice, and then it's very easy to do. No, speaking, speaking about mindfulness, and even me, even in the washroom also, sometimes. I start doing mindfulness. It it becomes automatic. You no, know, when come to making speeches, delivering speeches, making workshop, 
I can't never prepare it before the prior to the workshop. Why am I so much concentrated on the present moments? Your facial reactions, the way you look at me, nidikirana pramane, anum yavana pramane. You say everything regulates me. When you feel asleep, I come a little closer, I little raise my voice, I crack a joke. Even I can feel if you, one of you need to go to the washroom, even I can observe that. Yes, the power of mindfulness. <laughs> so the second step is actively breathe. Active breathing. Again, though this is a spontaneous thing, we are not aware about this. Apita terinam ko deka spontaneously vena wa and tell the guys to actively breathe. Like the way I will share the video recording, it will be available. So actively breathe, tell them. Right. But actively breathe kara. Breathe actively. It's nothing, 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 you know, nothing new, nothing strange. Actively breathe. Number three. When they are actively breathing, we call it a box breathing, we tell them to have a small pause. a box breathing For an example, inhale, have a small pause. Then there's another problem. So a small pause. Two seconds, two, three seconds, and the exhale. Exhale, another pause. This is called the box breathing. The next stage, you concentrate on the sensation. Now you talk about the sensation. See how you have a sensation. How you feel the breath. So you take nostrils. You take inside the initial part of the nose. Some the chest and the abdomen. What is it? Balanna. Nahaying me kaya nao balanna. Nahaya tuleng ya nao balanna. Papua. Chest movements and the abdomen. You tell them to feel the breath. Feeling, you can concentrate on the feeling, feeling. You are feeling the breathing. There are two feelings. One is how you feel the inhale. And a little bit different the exhale. Ito kulta me feelings de kak. Inhale leke kak. Exhale like a cock. Inhale like a cock. Exhale like a cock. Next step. Still, this is not mindfulness. Still, this is the preparation. May tama natumata last thing in Ovitara. The real thing starts when you say to focus one point. Usually, since you are all intellectuals, I, I usually. Pick the nose because it's very fine. Make a harima tune with you. If they are usual employees, you can tell Udareta Hari, Hundra Danana Danakata Avadani Yumukaran. Give them the free choice to choose where to focus. Where to focus the breathing sensation. Hunata Venemene focus Karai. Papua with Avadani Yumukaran, Kiwaha, female, Magay Papu, Nemio, Kamuseke Papu, Kilakian. At the Papua Tavadani Yumka, they will open the eyes. Hari Miss Kiande. Okay. Focus one point. Focus one point. Focus one point. And now you start concentrating the breathing. The inhale and the exhale. Eta kota eka point te hekatawa, then it na focus kari. Now the thing starts. Then tamai start kari. When this happens, how long you can concentrate? What do you think? When this really, when this, when you come to this point, now we are given a plane, right? Now concentrate. How long can a person concentrate? Average time? Five minutes. Okay. Any other answers? It's, it comes in seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Seconds. 60 to 90 seconds, the maximum. 
after that what happens after that your butt is going to talk it starts aching your back is aching the back put the put the mark on the hair one and a root wagon the phone starts to feel the AC sound is going to bother you and you are going to start your brain right will start pumping information pumping information why is that happen our mind our mind is a wandering mind it's it's a wonder it wanders everywhere it wants information all the time seeking information why we are feeding it with information every second we are feeding our mind with information your phone your colleague your job your thoughts or oh, it's it's wandering all the time while we are wandering our attention span our attention will it increase or decrease it will decrease usually the social media applications they do human researches on attention span have you saw the recent youtube uh, facebook uh, videos when you prepare uh, like you know a birthday you know some kind of videos they use seconds for the video why does tiktok is so famous as a video application they do so many research they use very short videos learning that what did the youtube start if you are watch youtube use they start youtube shorts by the human attention span is decreasing because you know if you were school children i will be engaging you in various activities because our children's attention span is reducing 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 there are so many distractions the phone is a distraction the phone is the biggest distraction that we have that we reduce our attention span without the attention we cannot perform intellectually we cannot from all of you are intellectual so attention is utmost important you we need in your day to day work life even after that even after that so usually what happens is when you start to focus your mind starts to what always remember that's normal that's not a cause ayyo mata meka bad this is boring what is this then your ma- mind is giving you information no na magula do ini it's going to tell you things like that it will be distracting you then do lahata yanna tiyena ara havasa wede karanna tiyena it will be telling you because it does not like to stay at one single place that's its way it will be pumping information passer it ama me kodira rite ama it will be pumping distracting you all the time not letting you to be focused then what you should do then how you should act you should understand right now i am being distracted now my attention is not in the place that it should be hita pita giya matakura no problem that's the way you bring it back consciously it's okay come and start breathing oi passari deno it's okay nothing going to happen start breathing oi padagini it's okay tati kakki bata it's okay you can hold it more start attention because all the time when your attention is being deviated when your attention is being broken breached understand it accept it bring it back consciously to the focus this practice if you do it every day research have shown even 2 minutes per day if you practice twice after 3 months your attention flows <coughs> quadruples your memory quadruples your working performance could hatar guni kin vedi veno just 2 minutes 2 times a day for 3 months every day there is 2 minutes ni a washroom ekata gihilla anduma galawanna ki you take more than 2 minutes Two minutes just so always remember. Try to start applying this to your life, because this has been practicing among companies throughout the globe. This has been a very effective practice. The only thing in Sri Lankans, we are having this stigma. I'm sorry, we are having this stigma with meditation. When these words come, make a thing of patalama gatha, ma with meditation. 
We have another stigma about meditation. We have a very wrong perception about meditation. You, you usually see type meditation in Sri Lanka and just type the word meditation in the Google, what are the pictures that you will get? When you type meditation in Sri Lanka, you will see Achilatika, Siyalatika, Sil Aragin, Himnatan Kalik, Bhavana Karin. You will get such a perception. That's the perception that is in your mind. Sometimes if you are a non-Buddhist, you will say this is this something belongs to Buddhism, this is Buddhist. Buddhist come The Buddhist will think, make a me dang karani kakne me, make a pass up here, come him and make a dang name, make a pass in. All other things are passing. So that's when that stigma comes, you will feel very uneasy. Make a back around it. Mono other hit either. Get the room, but I mean, Om Santi. You can practice mindfulness even when you are driving. Drive mindfully. Hold your hands in the steering wheel. Focus on the road. Believe me. There are only accidents, believe me. Mindfully you can drive, just concentrate on your body posture and your body movements. You will be focusing on the road. You will remember the signal light, signal light. Put the signal light. Be mindful. Be mindful. Be mindful. Be mindful. Have a nice day. Just think, who has been benefited? Is the three-wheeler bugger or you? Who has been benefited? Yes, you yourself. Otherwise, usually what is it? Who's burning all the time? Who's been stressed out? Whose heart is beating so fast? Whose life is been shortened? Whose life? It's your life. If you are tempered, it's like you know holding, you know, holding something, you burn yourself. Just release it. Emotions always. With this mindfulness practice, you will understand. In our next stages, you will understand. When you keep on practicing, there are so many, you know, YouTube videos. If you are listening for TED Talks, you can go through Google, listen to this useful stuff. When you practice, you can see all the emotions. They come, they stay, they go. They come, they stay, they go. In the deep meditations, you will feel that for now, for now, for now, the mind will be start wandering, it will go there, remembering this, right, accept it, okay, hari machang, hari, it's okay. Bring it consciously to your breathing and maintain it, it's okay. Again it will go, right, this time something else, okay, it's okay. Again come, consciously bring. You accept, okay, consciously bring. Accept, don't, get in Nepal, don't get frustrated. This, this keeps on going, I have nothing else to do. That's good. You have got the first benefit of that. What is the first benefit? You have awareness now. About what? You know that your mind cannot stay at one place. You have already got the first benefit. That's the first thing that you are getting. You know your mind is not under your voluntary control. You know your thoughts are not under your voluntary control. It's been keeping on going here and there, wandering. And the second skill you have already gained, what's the second skill? You can bring the mind to the place where you want it to be. Your mind starts, Uta Benapang, Benapang. But you see, no, you are going to speak differently today. Your mind is Aswiang, resignation, Dian, Dia. No, wait. A little bit more, may I would that put the balloon, may master give a monohari in a sack with the killer. Your mind will be telling that. Your mind will be telling that. You are starting to gain control over yourself. You are starting this emotional control. Now you are no more driven with your emotions. You have that break on. You have that opinion on. You have that third person point of view now. You have that. You can see these are all the creation of your mind. This is your mind is wondering. Me wangi hita hamadekata ma hita kela kena onno kata. 
It's the mind that is going out and it's the mind that is creating everything. All your problems, all your burdens, all your sufferings, all the things that have so far in your life has become a problem is just a thought. It's just a thought that will come, that will sustain and that will go. It's only that. So ladies and gentlemen, before you go, I want you to seriously engage in one session, five minutes, all along, without my instructions. Just come to that fifth stage, look into what you have written so far, come to that fifth stage and try to keep on sustaining your focus. Your mind, your brain will be going, your thoughts will be coming, except bring it back and keep sustaining the emotions. Ten minutes. Just have a glance, have a glance in your notes. One last time, before starting, have a glance. First step, what to do? Second, what to do? Third, what to do? Fourth, what to do? Have a small glance. Good. Good. Okay. Keep everything back. Be relaxed. Forget everything. Forget about the time. Forget that you have to go. Forget it. No going. Be in the present moment. Be seated. Be relaxed. Be relaxed. Close your eyes. Okay, first stage, posture. Look at your posture. Okay, go through it. Okay, good. Perfect. Go to the next stage. Start actively breathing. No hurry. Okay, third. Have a small pause. Fourth, focus on the sensations you get. How you feel your inhale, how you feel your exhale.
Okay, now focus around your nose, focus the sensation you get of the inhale and the exhale. Try to sustain your focus, recognize when the focus is being breached, accept it and consciously bring back to your foci the breathing, bring your attention back and again sustain it. Do not stop until I signal, forget your past, leave it, neglect the future, leave it, just try to be in the present. You are concentrating on the present moment, what you are doing right now focusing the breathing. You should not focus nothing else but the breath, the breathing. It is a normal rhythm, usual breathing. It should be spontaneous, relaxed. It is hard, it is difficult, we practice, focus again and again and again only on the breath. This is your skill, your strength and you can do it. Usma can eat a hitan. Usma then in Hattie. In a Mukurni name Ashvasia, Pashvasia. Then go with the nature.
be strong. You are the master of your mind. Incorporate your consciousness with the breathing. Obe husmagani meka e kaat nikani. Then oyai husmai kani deka ne kak. Hundred ashwasi dene na hundred prashwasi dene. Think of nothing except the breath. I want you to slowly, not completely open your eyes. Still focus on the breathing. Semen naste karine, sampuli marine pa. Husma gan avadani ek avadani bindin ne pa. Balan den shaririya husma ek kavinas vinahiti. Pih amo melukuh semak gamu itai. Dekai. Anti ni katunai. Papu pilih lukuh semak gan. Iming husma hilan. It okay. Relax. See the difference. It's called the mental rest. You have rested for about five minutes only. If you can expand this span, this this time span, you will be getting more benefits. The more you practice, the more the benefits will come. Okay, this won't be our first you know, meeting. We will be following up virtually. How to implement this in your working places? Just increase the awareness about mindfulness. Number one is awareness, not mindfulness sessions. Awareness. What is mindful? Its benefits, one or other. What? Who are the practitioners? What are the concepts? then what let people get to know about this, share information, share knowledge, share experiences, so and so. The next stage, you can have small sessions, like you know, brief small sessions. We have this like yoga sessions, like you know, we have brief exercise sessions, like the national anthem, you can implement a mindfulness minute to your working place. 
satimat bawa itu mina dia, satieng mina dia. One minute per day, you can practice mindfulness. One one minute enough. Practice it with that before you start work and before you end the work. You will feel the difference. There will be less mistakes. If you have HR managers, give them the job to see you can calculate your own effectiveness. Then after that, you can have small workshops, small groups, small groups during the lunch hours. Don't take the working time. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. There are enough resource person in this Sri Lanka. My God, please. So you can practice this. Any questions? Anything? Please. Who want to leave can leave. Any questions? Anything related to health? <laughs> At least when you are going to bed, <coughs> practice this mindfulness. Adugan in there because the last thought when it's peaceful, your sleep will be peaceful. The last thing that you are you know having in your mind will be ruminated during your sleep. Then your sleep will be not completed. You will be seen so many dreams. I don't know, I can't remember. Because the last thought before you fall asleep will ruminate during your sleep. So, if you can practice mindfulness, it will help you to have a good sleep. There are 101, 1001 effects of mindfulness. Okay, if you have no questions, uh, if you need my number, you can drop a WhatsApp. Any psychological, physical, emotional, any, any support, leave a WhatsApp message. If the phone will be answered, you are really lucky. <laughs> I'm working in so many forums, so the thing is always busy, it's always ringing, it's still ringing, yeah, it's ringing all the time. I will have calls to take back, call back until I go to the hospital, not double seven eight double nine double seven nine seven. I'm Dr. Gayat. Anyone? Uh, yes, please. Yes. Yes. And you know that sometimes the food you don't like is not tasty or you don't like not pleasant to you. Yes. The thing is, when we are focusing on the sensation, this unpleasantness is being created by the mind. It's a feedback the mind is giving. Kama harinakel can hit it. When you're focusing on the food, it's been distracted. For an example, you know this these monks, this when they are practicing, whatever the food they get, the food is jumbled or okkome but they keep on eating, the single fact is they are concentrating on the sensation. You concentrate on the sensation. When you are concentrating on the sensation. Thank you for the question. Anything else? The next, yes please. In the brain, it is called the prefrontal cortex. All the decision making, arithmetic, logic, everything is done by the prefrontal cortex. Arithmetics, decision makings, when you see sequences, everything, every higher brain function, it comes under the executive functions of the brain. It's done by the prefrontal cortex. It's just behind your forehead. Again, everything we do first to the forehead, everything is here. Everything starts here from prefrontal cortex. Thank you for the question. By this mindfulness, this is all practice that you in increase the executive functions and other, you know, we have this uh, mental task like, you know, uh, puzzles, solving puzzles, there are problems that you think are, think are there are mental questions, puzzles that you have to solve, are, how to, the, everything are mental exercises, but mindfulness is the best, it's the best proven in research. Okay, anyone who would like to, yes please. Yes, good question. Dementia is a problem in memory. Can you, that, that working memory which I draw, it's been diminished. The long term is intact, first the working memory diminished. 
mindfulness increase the working memory capacity so we will not get dementic if you are a good mindfulness practitioner there are monks who live for ages still remember the stanzas in their books for an example late now in aryadamma swami now say even in the late ages he can recite the tripitake the abhidharma at the late stages your brain is fully functioning whether you are old the brain is fully functioning mindfulness anyone who can give a feedback just a few words about the session the next session, in the next day we will talk about uh, you know mind we can implement mindfulness for other activities also for an example mindfulness cooking mindfulness walking even mindfulness during sexual activity many sexual dysfunctions many problems like premature ejaculation can be treated with mindfulness very successfully there is an enlan ane doctor eka kawadda thiyenne 